A new beverage in California is available with a prescription, but is it just a prescription to party? It's called a can of wine, and it is marijuana infused wine. Now, I have to say, most states where marijuana is now legal, Washington, Oregon, Colorado, et cetera, it's still illegal to infuse alcohol with it. California currently the only state where this cannabis concoction is sold. A half a bottle could cost anywhere from $120 to $400. That's a lot. Woo! That's high. That, well. That's a lot. That's high. <laughs> yes, I mean, that's like paying for a very expensive Cabernet or whatever. So I'm curious your two's thoughts on this because one of the big, look, one of the big concerns when marijuana was legalized is, okay, are people going to start now mixing this with other CNS depressants? And a lot of people don't like the concept well, here of well, mixing, mixing the two. Mixing the two together, you can't predict the response when, when it's infused like that, when you have the two, the, the alcohol, the depressant effect of the alcohol, and then the, the marijuana effect that you can't always predict how you're going to react. Well, to that's it. the big question I have is it's called crossfading and not necessarily understanding the concentration. I think that's a big issue with a lot of things if you're drinking them. You know, let's use the example of who's ever gone out for cocktails and the bartender has a heavy hand and you're just, you're just getting one margarita and you get done with it and you're hammered because they, they put more alcohol than you expected. I right. think that's one of the dangers is when you don't really know. For instance, if you go and you have just a four ounce glass of red wine, probably about 13, 13.5% alcohol by volume, you're pretty sure what's gonna happen to you. I think when you start, thank goodness they're not infusing hard alcohol right now, although that may right be now. coming, because then that's this, do you, you just don't really know what the oh, effect's gonna be. Right. I think people just need to we be aware of that. We talk about one glass for women, two glasses for, for men as what should be your limit. Mm -hmm. Well, that this is off the table because you have no clue like like Travis said, one glass may put you under the table. Right. But I think it puts a bad spin on marijuana, but I have always I think it's interesting because I feel as though a long time ago someone said alcohol is okay. And then that same person said marijuana is bad. And so I think like marijuana kind of got a bad reputation a long time ago yeah. when they actually there are medicinal purposes for marijuana and there are no medicinal purposes for alcohol. And really, if you go out with someone and they drink excessive alcohol, they're acting like a crazy person. Someone uses some marijuana and they just want a snack, you know? <laughs> so I, Well, I think it's the, re the reality of any time you're talking about a substance that can have an effect on the central nervous system, truth is anything in excess yes. is problematic. I think the most important thing is in states where marijuana has become legalized, if it is legal and you're an adult and you choose to try it, be just careful. know and be careful of dosages because again, it's like with alcohol. First time someone tries it, it makes a big difference. Are they drinking a beer, a glass of wine, or are they doing hard liquor? Because mm -hmm. the first time we've had kids on this show before, we've been the first time they did a few shots and the next thing you know, they're out. So just understanding well, how this I mean, has an impact on I mean, your body. It's saying is really something that California is the, the, the only one state where where it's legal. So that, <laughs> why? That's yeah. telling you something right there. <laughs> we beat Colorado on this one. <laughs> <laughs> Drew's so proud. No, not, not really.